Hello, viewers. I'm uh, Dr. P. V. Rao. I worked for about 26 years in Nizam Institute of Medical Sciences in Hyderabad. Uh, before that, I was in All India Institute of Medical Sciences in Delhi for about seven years. Throughout my career, I was doing uh, research in the field of diabetes. So I have many new things to tell you today uh, in the field of diabetes, especially in the context of Asian Indians with diabetes. My, my PhD thesis was Asian Indians in diabetes. Diabetes in Indians is entirely different. And there are also many myths. There are also many uh, misbeliefs uh, about diabetes among Indians. So I want to clarify. I want to tell so many new things to you which have scientific basis. I'm not going to tell you something from uh, conventional uh, thinking or uh, what we believe is true but what we have a uh, hard data to prove so that's what I'm going to tell you there are many things I have to discuss initially I will start with the prevalence of diabetes how common is diabetes among Indians people say India is the capital of diabetes it is capital of diabetes true because we have more people in India China and even United States so there are many diabetics in India, but that doesn't mean that Indians are the only people who are prone for developing diabetes. Indians are not the only people who are uh, ethnically susceptible to develop diabetes. In fact, India is somewhere ranking around 10th or 15th in the position of uh, prevalence map. Suppose you take a list out all the countries in the world with the prevalence rates. That means how many people in 100? Suppose, suppose if I say that uh, in India, diabetics are seen about uh, 3 out of 10. Uh, and United States, it's about 3 out of 10. In China, it is about 3 out of 10. But in some countries like Nauru, in Pacific countries, in Pacific islands, and in some of the countries, in Gulf countries especially, uh, it's almost like uh, 4 out of 10 are diabetics. So the prevalence rates, the number of diabetics are more in India, but the actual proportion of diabetes is not uh, high. Diabetes is not a very common disease in India, though we see a lot of diabetics around because the once a person is diabetic, he is always diabetic for next 25, 30 years until he is living. So we see a lot of diabetics in the society and India has about uh, 60 million diabetics. It's a large number. But the prevalence of diabetes is not the highest in our country. We are not the diabetes capital by the ethnic susceptibility of uh, Indian population. India is the uh, diabetes capital of the world. So yes, we have large number of diabetics in India. When we talk about prevalence rates, we are always talking about prevalence rates among adult population. So most of the screenings, most of the population surveys are done among people who are aged 25 or above. So it's basically adult population. In India, the people below 25 years, uh, the children, young adults and adolescents are more, about 40% of the Indian population is young adolescents. And we don't do screening among young adults and uh, adolescents and children because diabetes is extremely rare in children and uh, these uh, young people. So when you take the prevalence of diabetes, among the entire population, that is that's what we call overall crude prevalence of diabetes. It is hardly about two, three percent. When you take the adult population, about 25 or 40 years, diabetes is almost three or four among 10 people. That's almost like 30 or 40 percent among adult population. But uh, that's not really true when you look at the overall crude prevalence of diabetes uh, among all age groups. So diabetes is not a very common disease compared to many other diseases like tuberculosis or a, a diarrheal diseases and we have several other issues in India especially. Uh, of course the non-communicable diseases like diabetes is also increasing but we still have communicable diseases like tuberculosis, malaria and several of these viral fevers. Almost like half of the morbidity, half of the diseases among population are basically the communicable diseases. But there are certain uh, things which are different among Asian Indians. I will tell you a few of those uh, different issues. Uh, Indians have diabetes at an younger age. When people in the United States and other countries, the world populations, they get diabetes around 40th year. Indians do tend to get diabetes by 25th year. So we get diabetes almost 10, 15 years before the uh, other populations. The age at onset of diabetes among Asian Indians is almost like 25. 
So it's unfortunate that we uh, in India get diabetes at an younger age and the expectation of life is shorter among Indians. Uh, people with diabetes among other world populations may live longer, but in India the expectation of life is anywhere between 8 to 20 years once uh, diabetes is diagnosed. So it's an unfortunate situation. For some reason we get diabetes at an early age and we also get, uh, we also uh, may get complications of diabetes uh, and uh, the duration of diabetes is uh, shorter in uh, Indian population. So then I will talk about the age. So yes, it's uh, uncommon below 25 years, but we do have children with diabetes between uh, 1 to 15 years. But when you look at the prevalence, it's almost like 1 out of 1,000 or 1 out of 10,000. It's extremely rare, but we do have children, several hundreds of children in any big towns uh, with diabetes taking insulin. Uh, unfortunately, all these children who get diabetes below 15 years are almost invariably they are to be treated with insulin uh, throughout their life. So that's a big uh, problem. So children with diabetes are treated with insulin. Between 15 to 25 years, it's a sort of a gray zone. Uh, some of them may require insulin, some of them may not require insulin. Uh, but uh, fortunately for our country, diabetes below 25 years is rare. Mm -hmm.